What's up guys, it's Chachi Power here to do a review. You see here I got the three NECA uh, Robocops. You got the original, you got the glow in the dark, and you got the battle damage. And one that I promised a long time ago to review is the spring-loaded holster version, which I just recently got, maybe I guess a month ago. Still have not reviewed it, so I'm going to go ahead and open this up. First we'll check out the box up close. And the back here does show the holster action going on there. And just uh, plain 25th anniversary, part man, part machine, all cop, future of law enforcement thing going on in the back. OCP police. Again, let's look at the front so you can see the figure. Uh, even though we will check it out up close, let's just let you see what that looks like before we go ahead and crack this open. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to stab the crap out of this box and take out Robocop. There's one thing I'm going to recommend for you guys is to, if you don't own a NECA figure, is to buy one that you like because the smell that emanates from the package when you open it is intense. It's a big, crazy vinyl smell. It's delicious. Almost makes me want to eat Robocop or at least lick some part of his uh, robotic body. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and take this uh, little strap off here and then we'll get started with the review. Alright, and if any of you guys are first timers in opening up NECA figures, what you want to do is be very careful. Uh, in my experience, when I've gone ahead and tried to uh, get the elbows to move or something, sometimes things snap. Not on my Robocop figures, uh, but I do have other figures that have snapped when I try to articulate them. So you want to be very careful. If it feels a little tight, make sure it's not cracking anywhere. So we'll try that with this. Alright, that seems fine. No cracking there. This one's a little stiff. Sometimes the paint does stick. So you don't want to crack it off because uh, if the paint's strong enough, you'll end up breaking the plastic. So that seems to be good there. We'll work out the knee right here. That's a little stiff. All right, work out the other one here. Ooh, all right, and the ankles, which uh, already are a bit articulated there from opening it. So yeah, let's get started with the review. Here he is, uh, looking really cool. Uh, I really can't say that enough when it comes to reviewing all of these Robocop NECA figures. And you'll see the uh, the holster gimmick here is already open because that's how it comes out of the box. But we're going to go ahead and close that up and check it out. But before we even show you that gimmick, I do want to make comparisons between uh, the new Robocop figure and the previous ones. The obvious uh, comparison would be the very original one to the new one. So the original one is off to the left here. The new one is off to the right. And you'll see the older one has a, like a purplish, bluish hue right here in the chest and elsewhere on the knees. And this one does too, but you'll notice uh, the silver uh, is a lot more uh, silvery on this one. And the head is a little bit more glossy. I don't know if you could see that um, that easily. And the uh, the face sculpt is a little bit different. The lips on this one are pretty big. This one, I actually like the sculpt on this one a lot better. Uh, I thought this one was really cool, but you know, seeing it compared to this one, I do like this one better. Um, aside from that, I mean, the, the molding is pretty much uh, the same. It's a little cleaner on the new one. Uh, it looks a little bit beat up here. I don't know if it's a different mold altogether. It looks uh, pretty identical, but it does look a lot cleaner on the new one. Now, uh, we'll compare it to the glow-in-the-dark here, side by side. All right, that's what it looks like. Very hard to compare these two since uh, this is just a glow-in-the-dark plastic with black parts. But at least you can see what that looks like together. All right, and then the last one we're going to compare it to is, is the uh, battle damage here. All right, so let's actually keep this consistent. Uh, here is the battle damage on the left and the uh, new figure on the right. And you'll see how they compare together. All right, and uh, yeah, overall really cool. All of them are really cool and all of them are highly recommended. Now to get back to what I was originally going to show you is the holster feature. So you'll see now that the holster feature is put away and if we turn this around you'll see it's got this little button right here. That's really the only thing that's going to stand out on this figure to let you know that it's the spring-loaded holster one. So to activate that, right, you want to just push right up on this right here. We'll see how that pops open. Just like that. So it works pretty good and you'll see the gun is right there. And to get the gun out, you do have to uh, use your nails and pop it out. And once you do pop it out, you'll see the inside is just a blue plastic. 
All right? They didn't uh, paint it anything or use black plastic. They, they used a blue plastic that's sort of in the same family as the outside color, but not really. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's as good as it's going to get, I guess. Um, now, to close this, I, I don't like how it feels. It feels like you're going to break something. I'm already a little bit uh, concerned about NECA figures here and there when I'm trying to uh, articulate them. And then you got to really worry about this. Uh, the plastic uh, is not the same PVC as the rest of the figure. It's, it's an actual hard plastic, and the, uh, the details are actually sharper than the rest of the figure. So I'm assuming they used a good plastic here because otherwise it's just going to fall apart after a few uh, gimmicks, tries of the gimmick. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and push this in. All right, that required a little bit of force, and you'll see it did snap in really nicely. Uh, nothing happened, and we'll see what that looks like in the hand. The gun right here. All right, so it looks really good. It looks just like RoboCop, and it does have the data spike, which is included. I'm not going to show you guys that. I did it in all the other reviews for the uh, other RoboCops, but I did want to at least show you this one with the spring holster. All right, so again, let's get this to pop open. There you go. Put the little gun away here alright doesn't help that I have huge fat fingers but uh, there it is and uh, fooling around with this sometimes this panel pops off because uh, at first I was trying to squeeze these two together to close it but you don't want to do that you actually want to push right on the thigh here and close it and that's another thing you have to really line up the gun correctly in there you have to make sure it's in the proper spot Otherwise, you're not going to be able to close it. You want to make sure that the barrel is behind that little clip right here and that the uh, the trigger is right on that little blue tab and then the handle is inside the back of the thigh. That way, you can go ahead and just close it. So that brings us to the end of the review, guys. If you want to know a little bit more about these figures, uh, articulation, uh, more of the, of the paint job and everything, please check out the reviews on the other ones. Especially this one. This one's really cool because it's glow in the dark. But definitely see if you can check those out. And if you have any questions or comments, guys, please leave them below. Until next time, bye-bye.